Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the next recipe in the Eat Like a Gilmore cookbook and we're going to make French toast. And this is a pretty easy recipe. It's actually how you expect French toast to be. They do say that instead of using bread slices, you could use halves of croissant. So that's what I'm using for my recipe today. But like I said, it's pretty straightforward. And actually, I think the author did a great job in layering French toast after chilaquiles because that was a more complicated recipe to give you an easy recipe to go through after you tried a more complicated recipe. But let's get started making some French toast. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a couple eggs. Whisk together real good. They're combined. Then a quarter cup of milk. Oh, made a little mess. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Stir it up. Okay. Okay, we're gonna heat some oil. Okay, we're gonna dip both halves of this croissant in the batter. Make sure it's fully co coated. It's a little difficult with the croissant because of the edges. Here's the bottom half. I think using a croissant is a great idea. I have no idea why I never really thought about doing that before. So I'm glad to have today the day for that. I'm gonna let that cook. Alright, I think it's about time to flip it. Well, I might need another flip after I'm done with this flip. Yeah, I think I started out with the bread kind of soggy and the pan not warm enough to handle it first. It's okay. Let's call it trial and error. It doesn't take long to do the second side. To get started sometimes it takes a little longer. Oh, that looks better. Nice golden brown color with the egg and the bread there. Oh, it looks delicious. It smells really good. I think that might be the vanilla added in. I don't usually add vanilla, so that was a nice little twist for me. I often do add cinnamon when I'm cooking it, but since I'm doing it their way today, we're not doing that. Oh yeah, nice and brown. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the plate and do the next one. Okay, here's the French toast. I made it with butter croissants, two halves of one. I'm going to put some maple syrup on it and give it a try. Here's some syrup. Good amount of syrup. really good with a butter croissant. It gives it a kind of a flaky feeling but it's like layered and it's really good and I really think you should try making French toast with a butter croissant. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more fun recipes and other things coming up. Y'all have a great day. Bye!